Blackburn, making his IPW UK debut, he is the self-proclaimed Asian sensation, The Gift, Ross Jordan. Well, it's a big night for IPW UK, and it's a big night for this man here, the self-proclaimed Asian sensation, The Gift, Ross Jordan. Now, Ross Jordan tonight is making his IPW UK debut. He brings with him a reputation to second to none. He is a former Revolution British Wrestling World to Weight Champion. He is a current FWA Flyweight Champion. However, reputations mean nothing here in IPW UK. And his opponent. Well, John Atkins got that right. He's young, he's upcoming, and he's certainly a high flyer. So you see a demonstration of Paul Robinson's aerial ability. Now, Paul Robinson's a man who certainly isn't a stranger to us here in IPW UK. The last we saw of him was in that terrific freeway contest where he defeated Ashley Reed and El Liguero. What a match that was. And ladies and gentlemen, you can see it by buying the Best of British 2 DVD available from IPWUK.com. But the bell has sounded and it's time for first action of the evening. Both men exchanging way slots before Jordan comes out on top of the armbar. Roll through and kip up for Jordan, successful. Paul Robinson, almost a case of anything you can do, I can do better, gets out of it. Jordan using the ropes to flip through, and now takes the arm of Robinson. And Robinson returning the favour, and in the early stages, we can see that these two men, though experience is different, are very evenly matched inside... Oh my! And just so I thought we were going to see a nice sporting like high fly and athletic contest. Ross Jordan cuts off Robinson with forearm to the side of a skull and takes him down with a shoulder block. Speed from, from Robinson, nicely done, goes for the hip toss. Jordan counters. Robinson flips through to feet. Jordan goes for a clothesline and misses. What a beautiful hurricane runner from Paul Robinson and a beautiful standing drop kick. And there's a second in quick succession on the gift as Paul Robinson clotheslines Jordan to the outside of the ring. And Paul Robinson is very much the proverbial house of fire here in the early stages as Jordan is down and hurt on the outside of the ring. As the capacity crowd are getting behind the team titan, the plucky youngster, Paul Robinson. And this, the biggest crowd in IPW UK history for perhaps the biggest night in IPW UK history. You see there are people standing at the back. There's standing room only here at the Orpington Halls. Ross Jordan went for Paul Robinson with a house of steam, but Robinson takes him down and is quick to lock in that front face lock. Now Jordan trying to get himself to a vertical base, but Paul Robinson wisely reverts to a side headlock. Ross Jordan looking to move into his man. Went to suplex Robinson, but Robinson threw to his feet so quick is Paul Robinson. Oh. Ross Jordan caught him and swung him down across the knee and laid him out with a big lariat. 
And they call him the gift for nothing. This man is gifted. But now he's choking away on Paul Robinson. And quite personally, I don't agree with those tactics. And now he's arguing with the referee. But look at the leg. The leg's draped across the throat. And whilst the referee's reprimanding him. And very unsportsmanlike behaviour from the gift Ross Jordan. And that is exactly what I don't like to see. How patronising can one man get? I think Ross Jordan is trying to answer that question right here and right now. This is a cocky lateral press which only just manages to get a two count. Paul Robinson kicking out very early. Shime is still alive in the youngster. There's a beautiful suplex from Ross Jordan and now digs a knee into the spine of the Teen Titan. Ross Jordan bad mouthing Paul Robinson as he digs a knee into the spine, cranks back on the neck and head of Robinson. Clubbing forearm across the back. You can see the ominous sight of a tag team title belt hanging from the roof here in Orping at the Orpington Halls. Of course we'll see a TLC match in the main event of the evening, but let's concentrate on here and now. Robinson went for a moonsault and connected with nothing but hard, unforgiving canvas. There was no one at home on that occasion as a high-risk manoeuvre most certainly did not pay off for Paul Robinson. And perhaps that's a shot sign of inexperience and a sign of Ross Jordan's experience. It's a Russian leg sweep and Ross Jordan holds on with that camel clutch-like manoeuvre. Cranking away at Paul Robinson looking for a submission victory perhaps right now in the early stages. But Paul Robinson feeding up the energy of this crowd. Oh, before Ross Jordan manages to cut him off with a knee across the gut. Before turning to approval from this crowd. He doesn't care if they cheer or jeer does a gift. Ross Jordan sends Paul Robinson off the ropes. Went for a clothesline. Paul Robinson telegraphs. Back body drop over the top. Oh, kick to a midsection from Jordan who cut off Robinson. But Robinson, just like that, cuts off Jordan with a kick to the side of a skull. And believe me, you've got to watch out those educated feet of Paul Robinson. So proficient with those kicks is Robinson. He goes outside the ring. And that may be a wise move from Paul Robinson to get Ross Jordan back in the ring because he wants to win this one cleanly in the centre of the squared circle as Paul Robinson throws Ross Jordan into the ring. And now Paul Robinson getting himself on the ropes for a second time. What's he going for now? Went for a splash, but Ross Jordan got the legs up and that is a second, count it, not once, but second time that a high-risk manoeuvre has failed for Paul Robinson. And that's the second time but Ross Jordan has been able to capitalise. Is Ross Jordan looking to ground Paul Robinson now, sitting down on the lower back while pulling back at the crossed arms of Robinson. That's going to hurt the neck, it's going to hurt the head, and it's going to hurt the lower back of Paul Robinson. As Ross Jordan just sits down across the back of Robinson. It's wise strategy from... Ross Jordan, I can't fault it. You take away the back of Paul Robinson, you take away his high flying ability, and you take away his predominant sense of offense. As Paul Robinson to his feet, and there's an Inzaguri to the side of a skull, and there's another second to the side of Jordan's skull, and third time lucky no! He could not blow Ross Jordan as Ross Jordan hit with a beautiful, picture-perfect spinning heel kick, and what action we're witnessing in the opening contest of the evening. And what's Ross Jordan going for now? Going for a power bomb, perhaps, and oh, Paul Robinson managing to transverse in midair and push Ross Jordan's skull down into the canvas as both men are down. Both men are down right now as we're perhaps back to square one, but Paul Robinson has sustained a tremendous amount of punishment and he did take a, a bulk of that impact there. That manoeuvre affected both men. And it's going to be a case of who can get to their feet first. 
And the answer to that question is a gift as Ross Jordan looks to put away Paul Robinson. But Robinson fights him back and there's a fire in Paul Robinson which is so good, so refreshing to see from so on so young with a tilt and well head scissors connecting to the gift. And there's a hip toss and Paul Robinson is on fire. Sends Jordan into the corner, comes in, house of steam, and there's a monkey flip, and did you see the velocity that Ross Jordan went flying three quarters away across that ring? And Robinson sends him into the corner again, but Jordan had him scouted, but Robinson cuts him off with an elbow to the side of the skull, and now what's Paul Robinson going for? Diamond Dust connects, and this one could be over now, and this is it, no! Ross Jordan, great ring presence there from Ross Jordan. This is why he's won championships with that great ring positioning. Imagine to get his foot on the ropes and there's a standing moonsault from Paul Robinson. Hooks a leg and Ross Jordan kicks out. And we've got so much more to come, ladies and gentlemen. And we're only just getting started here in this tremendous opening contest of the evening. As Ross Jordan blocks a, a suplex attempt, gift wrapped, gift wrapped. Ross Jordan hits a gift wrapped. And this is all she wrote to the plucky youngster. Paul Robinson is finished as Ross Jordan hit his patented gift mark. This is move has won Rob, Ross Jordan countless amounts of championships. This is a lateral press. And Paul Robinson kicks out of Ross Jordan's trademark move the gift wrapped and Ross Jordan arguing with the referee he can't believe it but he was unable to hook the leg he was unable to hook the leg in that pinning combination and it may come back to cost him dear that's what's he going for now oh Paul Robinson reverses kick to a midsection kick to the stomach kick to the back of the leg knockout blow from Paul Robinson Paul Robinson with those lightning quick feet has got him And I think we may consider this as somewhat of an upset. Paul Robinson has upset the gift, Ross Jordan, making it two wins on a trot here in IPW for a plucky youngster as Paul Robinson has upset the gift. What a contest to kickstart things here in the first anniversary show. And we'll be back with Atkins' ass with former IPW UK champion, Aviv Mayan.